Okay, so picking up where I left off. So the last thing that, that I did was trace my vector. I chose the Carl Lagerfeld sil silhouette to trace my vector, which is the head, and I filled it in pink. What I want to do, um, remember I told you earlier that my final product, I would like to create my own um, Coco Chanel by Carl Lagerfeld inspired logo. So I want to take this up a notch. What I want to do is create a pattern. The pattern would be a part of the print. So let me just open up my layers again so you can get an idea of, um, you know, what's still here. So I have my original. I'm going to click on the eye, the toggle visibility, so you can see that my, um, my original is still there. Although it's gray for whatever reason right now, I'm not sure why, but it's okay. It's still here, and he's there. So I'm just going to make him invisible. We don't need that as of now. So in order for me to create my pattern, I want to, create, I want to add a new layer or create a new layer. So I'm going to click on the icon next to the trash can, create a new layer, and I'm going to name it. Paisley CC. Okay, so the reason that I'm naming it Paisley CC is because I found a piece of the Coco Chanel label, um, which is the interlock C's that has the Paisley print, and I thought it would be nice to use along with my new logo. So I actually saved the Paisley print in my file, so I'm going to go to it so where it says open recent files I'm gonna click on Paisley Chanel CC so here is my Paisley Chanel CC so I'm gonna just expand it so that you can see the Paisley print here so there's the Paisley print inside the CC what I'm going to do is make a pattern out of the CC so I'm shrinking down the size to my desired size. So when it turns into a pattern, the CCs would pretty much be the same size all over. So what I'm going to do is copy this CC, copy this image. And we remember how to copy. You hit Command-C. I'm going to go back into my workspace, my artboard that I was working on earlier, and I'm going to hit Command-V to paste it inside. So just for a minute, I'm going to um, hide the head, move over the Paisley CC, and as you can see, the layer the Paisley CC is inside the Paisley CC layer. So this is how you would create your pattern. You click on whatever image you want to use. You can downsize it, make it larger. Then you would go to Object, Pattern, and Make. Object, Pattern, and Make. This pop-up box will come up. The new pattern has been added to the swatches panel. You can actually see it here, but I haven't created my pattern yet. Any changes made while in the pattern editing mode will be applied to the swatch upon exit. So because this swatch is here is actually two, but once I'm done with this, it's gonna be the changes is gonna be applied to this. So let's take a look. So I'll click OK. And you'll notice that. This is the pattern. This is actually the pattern that I'm going to use. So here is the pattern options panel. I'm going to name it Paisley CC Pattern. And under that it says Tile Type. So the first tile type that you see is a grid. This is actually a grid. Um, okay, so it's saying that it's already it already exists. So I'm just gonna name it to two. Be 
because I've worked on it previously. So this is the grid. The next option, if I don't want the grid, I can use brick by row. And then you'll notice that the second and the fourth row changes. They just shift over to the right. Or brick column, you'll notice that the second and the fourth column moves up. Hex by column. So these are different options that you can choose as a pattern. But once, Let me try this. I'm going to click on brick by column and you'll notice that it says brick offset one half. So if you do one fourth, it'll change a little bit. So it's saying the you have one column pretty much in its normal state, but the other four shifted down just a little. Um, one third, three columns have shifted, two columns have shifted, two and two of three columns, one of five, so on and so forth. So that those are different things that you can do. Um, you can also you also have that option in brick by row. You can change it, shift it that way. So these are just options. Remember, once again, learning is by trial and error. You can press on anything, click on anything, just just getting to know the program. So what I'm going to do. I'm going back to my grid option. I like the grid option. This is what I want to use. So I'm going to go up here. You can see, let me move this down a little bit. You can see this little opaque gray section. And I'm going to click done. Now it's done. So now what I want to do is I'm going to move this CC out of the way. I'm actually going to delete it right now. I don't need that. And I'm getting ready to create my pattern. So I'm going to click on, let me hover first just to make sure. So as I hover over it, you'll see that Paisley CC pattern tool in my swatches is here. So I'm going to click that. Now you'll notice that it popped up in the fill box. So whatever shape I make, it's going to fill up with my pattern. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click the square rectangular tool. Let me move over just a little bit. I'm going to fill. I'm going to create this little a square shape. And watch what, what happens. As I created my square shape, the pattern, the CC pattern, automatically filled. I'm just going to stretch it out to the end of the board just a little bit. And if you look closely, you'll see that around your, um, the pattern is a bounding box. So with that being said, you can Make it as large or as small as you would like. Now I'm going to just zoom zoom out a little just so you can see it so now you'll see that my pattern fills the entire artboard I'm going to click the eye so you can see Carl the trace you see him in the back now what I can do I can take the Paisley CC let's see if my gray I don't know what happened here I think it I don't know if it filled but it doesn't matter I can always delete that and bring the new one in. But I don't need it anyway. Eventually, I'm going to delete that layer. We only use that layer as a trace. So since I want to take my Paisley CC, I actually want to put it behind Carl. So I'm going to go up to 
Let's see if I can find it for whatever reason. I might not be able to find it. Let me click on the head. I should be able to arrange it. Oh, I'm sorry. It's locked. So I'm going to unlock the head. And bring it to the top. So what I did was click and drag my layer on top of the Paisley CC. Now Carl's head is on top of the pattern. I can expand it and pretty much do whatever I like. If pink is, um, you know, not the right color because I have the Paisley background, let's try to change the color. So I'll see if it's going to work with me. I'm going to click on his head, click on my fill box, and maybe I'll change it black. Let's see what happens. And it actually works out fine. So you can change it to whatever color. I'm not sure if I want to keep that color. I, I do still like the pink, but I'll continue to play around with it. Um, just so we can look at some options. So what you learned just now was how to create a pattern. I made my pattern the background and I transformed, well, I arranged the head, the first trace that I created and layered it on top of the, the Paisley CC.